so now let's start quick revision of immunity what all they can ask you in immunity see in immunity everybody should be clear with the innate immunity cells okay with the adaptive immunity cells interaction of b and t lymphocytes okay you should be very clear with the transplants myelodosis and some and immunodeficiency diseases these are the six points you should know in your uh, immunity chapter okay so now uh, when we are revising it quickly so let's see what all they can ask you first we will start with the uh, common thing that they ask us okay so everybody has gone through the main videos where we have discussed all the topics in detail uh, but there's one topic which usually we don't cover mu in much detail in the general lectures because you know uh, because that is mostly covered in your microbiology but still this is one of the very important question that they ask you in pathology and you should be knowing it so let's go by the question so which of the following is not an AIDS defining opportunistic infection the options is disseminated uh, CMV retinitis herpes simplex or co coccidiomycosis disseminated salmonella disseminated schistosomia so there are a lot of things um, now. So until unless you don't know about it, you can't answer this question. So you should be very clear with this. So what are the AIDS defining infections and tumors? These should be very clear. So there's a very good chart in the Robbins which is given like this, something like this. Table 6.16 okay from robbins okay which gives you all the aim uh, aids defining infections and tumors so how to remember it i'm going to just split it and let's see how to remember it so when we define aids defining conditions remember we can have infections or we can have tumors okay so infections when i divide i can say we can have bacterial infections we can have uh, viral infections we can have protozoal infections and we can have fungal infections so coming to the bacteria first remember very simple okay when we talk about bacteria Tubercular infections are most commonly seen in HIV patients. So, which is the one of the most common infections which is seen in HIV patients? TB. Okay. It can be typical mycobacteria or it can be atypical mycobacteria. Okay. So, typical mycobacteria infections are also very common. Okay. So, first is TB. You should remember that. Okay. And closest differential of TB. Okay. When we talk about morphology, closest differential of TB morphologically uh, is nocardia. So, second is nocardia. And third is salmonella. So, remember the code. MNS. Remember the code MNS. Okay. Otherwise, also you can remember it is better to understand rather than remembering codes. So remember, it is always mycobacteria, nocardia, and salmonella. Okay. Usually, salmonella infection is disseminated and patients present with diarrhea. Patients keep on presenting with diarrhea. Okay. So remember, TB, salmonella, and nocardia are very be common bacterial infections and AIDS. Okay. Coming to second is viral. HIV is a virus. So remember, you have to write HIV. Okay. So H V. So instead of I, you remove, uh, leave the space for I and there you will write CP, okay? You will write CP, okay? So CP, CP is cannot place, okay? So HIV, viral infections commonly seen in HIV or HIV, okay? So HV, instead of I, you will remember CP. So what is this? So H for herpic simplex virus, herpes simplex virus. So herpes simplex virus disseminated, is, it's a very common AIDS defining infection and this can be asked to you as an image based question. So this is a very important image based question which I'll be showing you after this, okay. Then coming to viral, uh, V, so HIV, so instead of I you're writing HV, okay. So V is varicella zoster virus, okay. So varicella zoster virus, both are herpes, so remember here herpes simplex and varicella zoster. Now coming to CP, in CP very important as CMV okay so all of you know that CMV infections are very very common in HIV so you remember CMV but what CMV any CMV no there is a particular thing here so CMV remember this boy which I have drawn drawn for you so CMV infecting four major organs is considered as an AIDS defining infection okay so CMV occurring in the brain in the eye in the lung and in the intestines okay so four place CMV is taken important okay cytomegalovirus again CMV can be given to you as an image based question in any organ of the body in any organ of the body it can be given to you as image based question so remember in the brain in the eye in the lungs and in the intestine it is very important and so morphology of CMV virus remains same you have to identify both the inclusions nuclear and cytoplasmic i will be showing you the image of this very important image based questions okay so remember there is a big nuclear inclusion there's a perinuclear halo and lot of small small cytoplasmic inclusions it can even have owl eye nuclear appearance like hodgkin cells so that is your cmv but remember in aids defining it has to be four major organs okay it is cns it's eye it is lung and it has intestine okay now next is pml what is pml progressive multifocal progressive multifocal Leukoencephalopathy, leukoencephalopathy, leukoencephalopathy. 
okay so pml is typically caused by jc virus and i hope everybody knows that jc virus typically affect oligodendrocytes so very important question again okay and in the oligodendrocyte it causes ground glass inclusions it causes ground glass inclusions okay so remember progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy is an uh, aids defining infection caused by jc virus and jc virus typically affects oligodendrocytes where you see ground glass inclusions so what are the viral infections that you see in your hiv infection remember it is herpes simplex it is varicella zoster and then cp okay so what is cp c for cmv and p for progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy okay out of these the image based questions in viral are your herpes simplex and cmv which can be given to you in any organ of the body herpes simplex typically affects oral cavity and it can be given to you in pap smears also okay so these two we should be known in jc virus you should remember jc virus typically affects oligodendrocytes and causes ground glass inclusions so these are your aims defining viral infections okay now coming to the protozoal infections okay now in protozoal infections always remember there's a very simple way to remember it as cpt okay so what is three protozoal infections so p starts for protozoa so p is very important okay so p is pneumocystis okay p is pneumocystis okay so pneumocystis is a very important image based question again okay so in the lung you will typically see foamy ex exudates and on your silver stain you will see ping pong ball appearance that is these balls these spores will appear to binge into one another so this is called ping pong okay so or cup and saucer appearance so they will be something like this okay so cup and saucer appearance or ping pong ball appearance like this okay so this is what is typical of pneumocystis which you can see so remember ping pong ball or cup and saucer appearance if somebody gives you that is typical pneumocystis and on histopathology h and d stain you will see foamy exudates in the lung okay so that's pneumocystis again a very important image based question that can be asked to you apart from that toxoplasma okay toxoplasma is also a very very important question that can be given to you in exams and you should always remember that whenever i'm talking about toxoplasma you have to remember toxoplasma constitutes you know uh, more than 50% cases of cns lesions mass lesions in the hiv positive patients okay so in hiv positive lesions if somebody asks you out of the parasitic infection which is the most common parasitic infections in the brain in hiv infection it is toxoplasma more than 50% of the mass lesions are due to toxoplasma and they can give you the image of tachyzoites or bradyzoites which i'll be showing you okay so you have to remember the image of toxoplasma also apart from that persistent diarrhea in an hiv patient should make you think of which protozoal infection it is again a very important question which came in your aims exam also last year cryptosporidia okay so i have discussed cryptosporidia so many times on my facebook group also and i have also added as a it as in video called uh, important rare causes of malabsorption in the intestine as an aims highlight video which you should see so cryptosporidia is one of the very important cause which you should remember but nonetheless you should also remember isospora okay so isospora can also cause the diarrhea okay so isospora can also cause the diarrhea persistent diarrhea so remember protozoal infection three common protozoal infection and three common sites you should remember in the brain toxoplasma in the lung okay pneumocystis and in the intestines it is cryptosporidia or isospora which is also called cytoisospora okay so cryptosporidia or isospora so you should know the spore size of cryptosporidia and isospora i'll be showing you the image okay you should be knowing about pneumocystis you should be knowing about toxoplasma so i'll be showing you the images so that you remember it forever okay now coming to the fungal infections what are the fungal infections in hiv now this is very important remember a simple code hccc okay so remember hccc okay very important here again so you have to remember we have histoplasma we have histoplasma here which is a very very important image based question okay histoplasma remember three c's cryptococcus again 10% of the cns mass lesions in hiv are due to cryptococcus okay so you have to remember cryptococcus very important image based question i hope you remember they have a capsule around them and you use indian ink preparation for highlighting cryptococcus okay candida but candida not anywhere okay so candida is very important so you should remember candida where in the esophagus trachea or in the lungs is very important okay so candida infections okay so disseminated candida infections is very common in hiv patients okay and coccidiomycosis okay coccidiomycosis is again an image based question which you should remember so this is coccidiomycosis okay which you should be very clear with okay coccidiomycosis so if i remember hccc histoplasma you should remember okay which is very very important image based question 
information okay we will be talking about this then cryptococcus you have to remember coccidiomycosis you have to remember and candida okay so these are common infections which you should remember fungal so they can be anywhere again histoplasma usually occurs in the blood bone marrow or in the lung okay so it can occur here usually anywhere it can be disseminated also okay it can present as an oral lesions also okay so recently i had a case uh, which um, i think day before yesterday only this was a case of a 35 year old man post covid came to me with an oral lesions and uh, the, he after that he started presenting with persistent pancytopenia so after that when i uh, did the uh, uh, bone marrow examination i was able to see you know some uh, spores in the bone marrow so i suspected that this might be histoplasma biopsy came it was granulomas in the biopsy histoplasma usually produces granulomas and it produces uh, there were granulomas in the biopsy and inside the granuloma it was full of histoplasma okay so we got his oral scrapings also done and it was also full of histoplasma so covid probably made him immunocompromised and that is why he presented with histoplasmosis disseminated and histoplasmosis can be highlighted by variety of stains they are beautifully pass positive they're beautifully uh, gomori methamine silver positive okay cryptococcus again is a cns mass lesion i've given you so many times i've i've told you the story of uh, of a case also which i have encountered you know so many times okay now uh, during my senior residency this was a, this was a pregnant female who came to us with sudden you know seizures and his csf was sent for examination the csf showed you lot of you know it, it appeared like glove powder okay so there were so many spores in that okay and uh, then immediately we asked for an indian ink preparation which came out very beautifully possible so indian ink is a negative stain it highlights the background okay so these spores were seen beautifully and then we put music armin stain where it was beautiful cryptococcus okay so music armin stain highlights cryptococcus beautifully okay canada we see nearly uh, nearly every second day canada comes to us canada can come either in the uh, in hiv patients especially in the uh, they can come as candidal esophagitis which i told you is a very typical you know uh, ulcer uh, it can present with ulcers it can present just with whitish lesions in the candida uh, esophagus or it can present in the lung or it can present in the trachea so that's typical of hiv and then it is coccidiomycosis which i have discussed so many times from the facebook group also coccidiomycosis has to be differentiated morphologically from rhinosporidosis so you should we will see the images and we will differentiate them beautifully okay so that is your uh, aids defining infection to recap what are the aids defining infections okay which we have started now so everybody so quickly bacteria which all bacteria will you think of you will think of um, typically tb mycobacteria nocardia closest differential on the biopsy okay and you will uh, on acid fast basically nocardia okay closest differential and salmonella then in uh, viral you will think of herpes varicella you will think of uh, typical uh, i told you cmv and progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy in protozoa you will typically think of your typical uh, three lesions toxoplasma pneumocystis and cryptosporidia or isospora in in fungal you will think of very typical lesions you will think of histoplasma and 3 c's that is your cryptococcus candida and your coccidiomycosis okay so these are your aids defining so these are the uh, this is the gist of this chart which is given in your robins this is this chart which tells you this which we have seen okay so let's come to the question now so which of the following is not an aims defining opportunistic infection so here cmv retinitis in viral lesions so everybody now knows okay in viral lesions everybody knows h v and here is cp okay so we have herpes simplex we have varicella zoster virus we have cmv cmv typical of brain eyes lung and intestine so cmv retinitis is yes it is an aids defining infection okay and p is for progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy caused by jc virus okay so yes so herpes simplex yes herpes simplex is very important herpes simplex disseminated is a feature of your aids defining okay so this was your viruses now coming to next coccidio they are asking so fungal everybody knows when we talk about fungal we have h c c c okay c for crypto okay c for coccidio c for coccidio okay so everybody i hope you will not forget this okay and candida and h this h was for histo okay so histoplasma coccidio crypto and candida okay so coccidio yes it is an aids defining infection now bacteria everybody knows when we talk about bacteria we have three bacteria m n s mycobacteria nocardia and disseminated salmonella okay so schistosomia is not an aids defining condition so schistosomia is not a aids defining opportunistic infection so the answer here is e the answer here is e it's not an aids defining opportunistic infection so is everybody clear with this question yes so that is 